Hey there, welcome back to Asia Chronicles. Today we've got something truly exciting to share. A major history-making event unfolding right in Subic Bay, Philippines. Thousands of US military vehicles and equipment just rolled in, and we've got all the juicy details coming right up. But before we dive in, hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you don't miss out on our latest updates. A massive fleet of US military hardware, from powerful tanks to swift helicopters, making its way into Subic Bay, stirring up excitement and curiosity. That's exactly what's happening right now, and we're here to give you an insider look at it all. Ladies and gents, feast your eyes on this scene straight out of an action movie. Thousands of US military vehicles and equipment have officially arrived in Subic Bay, Philippines. But you might be asking, what's behind this jaw-dropping display? Well, Subic Bay is more than just a beautiful port. It's got a rich history as a major US naval base, and its strategic position plays a crucial role in regional security. This massive deployment underscores the strong bond between the US and the Philippines, signaling some big things on the horizon. And wait, there's more. We had the chance to speak with people on the ground, military officials, local residents, everyone's buzzing with excitement. The boost to the local economy, the collaborative energy, it's a story that goes way deeper than headlines. Now, let's dive into the real stars of the show, these incredible pieces of military equipment. Get ready, because this is one sight you don't want to miss. From rugged tanks to cutting-edge helicopters, each piece of equipment has a critical role in this powerhouse lineup. We're diving into the technology, capabilities, and sheer strength these assets bring to the region. It's a clear display of readiness and resilience. As we witness this historic moment, let's pause to appreciate the long-standing partnership between the US and the Philippines. Subic Bay's significance echoes through history, and this event marks a new chapter. It's about more than just military strength. It's a story of alliances and trust. Once, hidden ammunition bunkers and barracks lay deserted, overtaken by nature. Remnants of American power from when Subic Bay was the largest overseas US naval base. But times are changing. More than 30 years after the closure of these massive bases, the US is taking steps to re-establish its presence, strengthening a network of alliances in Asia to face a new era's challenges, especially the assertive presence of China. On February 2nd, in a move marking renewed collaboration, the US and the Philippines announced that American troops would have access to four additional military camps, adding to five existing bases where US-funded construction is underway. From building barracks to warehouses, these developments pave the way for a considerable yet unspecified number of visiting American forces under a 2014 defense agreement. Political scientist Andrea Chloe Wong pointed out that these Philippine camps offer the US a strategic stance to deter Chinese assertiveness in the South China Sea, where territorial disputes with China have become increasingly heated and potentially a defense against a Chinese invasion of Taiwan. Around the former Subic Navy base, now a vibrant hub for commerce and tourism, northwest of Manila, this expanded American presence has stirred up memories of an era when thousands of US sailors brought economic life and optimism to the nearby city of Olongapo. Olongapo was like Las Vegas back then, recalls Filipino businessman AJ Saliba in an interview with the Associated Press. Speaking from his currency exchange and music shop, along what was once the bustling, neon-lit red light district of Olongapo, it was loud by noon, Neon lights flashing with Americans everywhere. Women, jeepney drivers, tricycles, restaurants, bars, hotels, everyone was making money. And now, with the talk of US forces returning, my God, that would be the best news, Saliba said, visibly hopeful. During his recent visit to Manila, US Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin clarified that Washington isn't aiming to set up permanent bases again. Instead, expanding the US military presence under the Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement is a significant move. The plan, 
American troops could join Philippine forces for larger-scale combat readiness training, offer rapid disaster response assistance, and support efforts to modernize the Philippines' military. As Austin and Philippine Defense Secretary Carlito Galvez Jr. stated, this is part of our commitment to modernizing our alliance. They emphasize the importance of these efforts, especially with China continuing to assert its contested claims in the West Philippine Sea. This is a big deal, Austin reiterated during a press conference in Manila. China, however, wasn't thrilled. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Mao Ning warned that the U.S. military's increasing presence could raise tensions, risking regional peace. Countries in the region should stay vigilant and not be pressured or exploited by the U.S., Mao said on February 2nd in Beijing. Austin and Galvez kept the exact locations of the four new Philippine bases under wraps, as consultations with local officials are still underway. Back in November, Philippines' former Armed Forces Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Bartolome Vicente Bacaro hinted that the strategic Subic Bay might be on the list, a location that once thrived economically as a U.S. Navy base. However, two senior Philippine officials recently suggested to AP that Subic is currently not among the sites designated for U.S. access. They hinted, though, that this could change as talks continue. The officials, requesting anonymity due to the sensitivity of the discussions, left open the possibility for Subic's return to the list. Subic Freeport Administrator Roland Paulino mentioned that he hasn't yet received any official word from the government about designating the former American naval base as a potential site for U.S. forces. But he sees the possibility. A renewed U.S. military presence at Subic could be a major boost for the local economy, bringing more jobs and increasing revenue for the Freeport. A welcome lift for Filipinos and businesses still recovering from the impact of COVID-19 lockdowns and the economic slump that followed. I see them as tourists, Paulino said, viewing the potential arrival of U.S. forces as a stepping stone toward economic recovery. Subic, a site about the size of Singapore, was once a strategic American Navy base, complete with deep harbors, a ship repair yard, and massive warehouses. During the 1960s and 70s, it supported U.S. operations in Vietnam. However, after the Philippine Senate declined to renew the lease in 1992, Subic transformed into a commercial freeport and recreation hub. A year before, the U.S. Air Force also pulled out of nearby Clark Air Base following the eruption of Mount Pinatubo, which covered the region in volcanic ash in one of the largest eruptions of the 20th century. And that wraps up this exciting update on Subic Bay and the potential return of U.S. forces. What a fascinating piece of history with so much impact for the future. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on global events, military news, and stories like this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. If you found this informative, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more.